Yeah. Oh, your TV celebrity personality, TV host John Daly. How about that? <laughs> Lives here at River's Edge. Now, here's the great thing. And there it is. It just, it reminds me of Emily in Paris, right, Fish? <laughs> you know. John Daly here with Susan Anzalone, and we are in Seoul, South Korea. We're here in London, and we're on the London Eye. The Maker's Mark private selection that's at the ABC store here in Shalot is a... Uh, one of a kind. That's because Artie and Joel, who manage the store, are the master blenders. That's right. And we got them to explain that. And we even found out what Artie's favorite football team is. And there are several signs that the crypto winter has come to an end. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Crypto Corner. I'm John Daly. He is Ian King, the expert on all things crypto. Ian, great to have you back. Uh, let's let's jump in here. Bitcoin is now at about 22900 down for the last few days uh and the week but up overall for the month uh the next gen coin that we've talked about before ethereum is at 1586 and like bitcoin actually like bitcoin uh mm -hmm. down for the week but up for the month still a few recent reports say there is a sign of optimism the investor inflows into digital assets have recently jumped they seem to be following your lead. Tell me what you're seeing. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's been an eventful couple of months for the crypto markets. And we are here with Christian Crescenzo. He is one of the managing partners here at Wedgefield Country Club. What a spot. You guys have really turned this in to an amazing complex, and it's just getting started. Yeah, we've come a long way. But what I love about it here is even if it's a little bit cold in the winter, this is a great course because it's got that Scotland feel. It does, it does, you know, and when the wind kicks up, it makes it even more fun. Um, like you said, we have a nice breeze all year round, so it's it gets a little chilly here and there. Want to do on this because you got all the marsh over there, so you want to stay as far to the left as you can because everything kind of rolls Look where down. Where the pin there. is? The pin is to the far right behind a tree, and Arnie has a reputation, especially here, of creating long, narrow greens, and the narrow part is where you need to approach from. So this second season for you, is is it different from the, the original show, which was an Israeli show? Are you guys taking it in a totally different direction? Yeah, um, the Israeli show... It's Kvoto. interesting too, Brian. Uh, I, I've gone through a, a number of friends over the past year who have who have had serious losses. I mean, devastating losses of, of spouses dying, kids dying, stuff like that. And I'm beginning to see where they're really trying to work on uh, grief counseling, how to take it to a next level, because we're hit with so much stuff. I mean, I every time I open up the internet, I'm seeing somebody 42 years old has died or somebody 18 years old has died. Um, are you kind of going a little bit in that direction of how to handle grief? Because usually when we finish a, a series or a show, it's here's the end, here's the lesson, move on to the next. Do you think you're going in that direction at all? Or am, am I kind of putting too much of a medical psychological twist on it? No, I, I think you're right on, John, is that... Uh, um... <laughs> I think that hit the tree. <laughs> and there it is. Talk about luck. I actually hit the tree here that we were showing you, and it landed right here. So I actually have an eagle chip. All right, so I'm about five, six feet away, which isn't bad, but that's, this is a birdie putt. And as you can see, the marsh is over here, so everything's going to fall that way. And again, you can look at, you can look at the... A little bit of wear mark here on this side. That means the ball's going that way. So for the most part, I know it's going to move uh, left to right. And it's it's kind of a, it's, it's a tad bit downhill. So let's see if I can make this birdie putt. How about that? A birdie on number 17, par five here at River's Edge. That is a good score for this hole, but I was lucky. I got very, very lucky. I'm replacing my ball on the putting surface, but it seems to want to roll away. So what I want to do is I want to press it into the surface of the green to hold its position. Can I do this? According to rule, 
1-29 by intentionally taking action to influence the movement of the ball in play and to alter physical conditions that affect the playing hole, the player is in breach and receives a two-stroke penalty. And in match play, it's loss of hole. Knowing the rules can save you strokes. It's called COAST, the Center of Applied Sciences and Technology. It is a local high school open to all students in the county, but it is also part of the foundation of the future of the Brunswick County economy. Hi everybody, John Daly here with The Daily Report. And it's not just me saying it, and it's not just the instructors here. It's local business leaders who spend time with the students. Luca Italian Chop House is coming to Shalot. Another Italian restaurant, you say? Not at all. Yes, Luca is part of the company that includes Angelo's, also in Shalot, and also Maria's Pizzeria in Ocean Isle Beach. But their head chef is now joining forces with an internationally renowned and award-winning chef, Daniele Gaiota. And you will meet him here. Come to dinner with us. We are pouring a classic vintage Merlot and cooking up a New York sirloin, a foodie bonanza. Plus, Susan has plenty of tips on preserving wine and decanting it along with an easy, simple steak cooked to perfection. Undercover Jet Setter helps you jet set at home without being a millionaire. And cheers, everybody. Welcome. Uh, we've got a treat for you tonight. This is a, uh, this is a culinary undercover Jet Setter First, uh, we have great steak here that we've cooked for you. We'll show you how we did that. But really, the star is going to be the wine. And it is a 1999 Duckhorn Merlot. Now, we're doing this in 2018, so we're talking 19 years. Now, first, the winery itself here in Ocean Isle Beach. The European-style wine is made here in this rustic and pastoral setting. Great for a business event or just meeting up with friends. Now, in truth, we don't know if James Bond liked a coconut martini or not. I tried to find it online, I couldn't find it. But if he did, he would probably have this one. This is super. Oh, this would be the one. Mm. Oh my god. I mean, you know, it's, really it's good so about it. good. And normally I'm not, I'm not into a lot of creamy drinks, but this with the coconut and then with the lime in there, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, like a key lime pie almost. It is kind of, right, play. with yeah. a little pepperiness because we, we are going to show you we found this amazing chili lime powder at Trader Joe's. This one is called a Zintini and you put it together. That's right. Well, we love Zinfandel and we love this new maraschino cherry liqueur, which is old and traditional and we've just discovered it in the recent years. And we just thought, you know, what a wonderful thing to put it together with some bourbon and make a zentini. And you know what? It's another great drink for the holidays. And you can taste the three main ingredients in this uh, very distinctly and they come together very nicely. Yeah, and it's super easy to make. I mean, it'll take a few seconds really for you. Um, so let's go check out how you make it right now. We are in. That's so good. We are in Hong Kong. Aloha, everyone. Cheers. Aloha. We could do a whole show on Maui, and we are here right now. Why didn't you tell me I had cannoli all over my mouth? Cheers. We are coming to you from somewhere between the Pacific Ocean we are and the in South. Waikiki Beach in Honolulu. We are in downtown Las Vegas, not to be confused with the Las Vegas Strip. We welcome you to Southern Utah. I'm too busy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! We're doing a show! Cheers. We are coming to you from the beautiful Ka'anapali Coast on Maui. Hi everybody. Hey, we are still in Temecula, California. We're in Canton, Ohio. Hi everyone. We take you to the old country today. Is Kentucky considered old country? Yeah. Take a look at that ancient castle. It was built in the 21st century. But we're in Versailles. It's Versailles, and we're right outside of Lexington, Kentucky. Your, uh, I dream of Jeannie hair really didn't work. Oh yeah? So I just transported John to Las Vegas. Cheers. We are Cheers. going to take you to some of the most sought after places in the world. And we show you how to do it for less, plus how to be a jet setter at home. And cheers everyone, we are coming to you from the Cayman Islands. This is a great spot. Coconuts. <laughs> we are coming to you live from Vietnam. We are in Chan Mai, which is the port city of Vietnam. And we are on an amazing cruise, which we'll be telling you all the about. The restaurant is called Hai San Bay Tan. 
She got it right. Nice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and we are, we're actually off the beaten path here because we're, we're not near any. Cooter's Dukes of Hazard Museum. You can pose with General Lee, the infamous car of Bo, Luke, and Daisy. Inside is a celebration of the iconic Hillbilly show from the late 70s and 80s. And it's free. So we will stay up in the clouds here in Hong Kong. Next, we stay in the air and jet off to mid-levels. Getting around with taxis is also easy. Beware, though. Sometimes they may refuse to take you for two reasons. Now, the first is the ride is not far enough for them to make enough money. The second is they are near the end of their shift, and they will want a fare that is heading in the direction of where they live. Now, Uber is available as well as Grab, which is similar to Lyft. You can link it up to your credit card in the same way as Lyft or Uber. Just remember that if you're using the cash option, they will only take Hong Kong dollars. One of the things that makes Hong Kong so alluring is how much the living of life goes on here. Yeah, it's all about the passion. Collaborated on stage, making the evening more memorable. Then we headed out, only to find another group creating their own street flash mob. swam with the dolphins. For many, this is a bucket list item to cross off, and it is worth it. The dolphins are gentle, peaceful, funny, and so calming on your spirit. The other Curacao is away from Willingstead, and it's rural, tranquil, and requires a jeep or a car. The back looks north toward the South Caribbean, while the front looks towards the mountains of Curacao. Now, the house also has its fun quirks. The Infinity Pool offers a window into the room I was staying in, giving my buddy and trip coordinator, Raleigh Rick, a chance to be a peeping Esther Williams while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> this is our Trader Joe's Red Wine Show, and we, we love doing shows like this, because, and we've done it for Costco Wines. Mm-hmm. Um, y- you get a chance to, to try a lot of different things. We're going to be doing this for the whole show here. It's it's very much a Carneros Pinot Noir, so mm-hmm. it's it's not one of those Pinot Noirs that is a little bit like a Merlot, very fruity and heavy. Even whipped up a new cocktail for you here called the Kong Hatton. Now, in honor of the melting pot, we blended bourbon, Jack Daniels in this case, with Cointreau, plus a lychee liqueur, two squeezes of fresh lime, and tonic water. Go to undercoverjetsetter.com slash mixology for the recipe. What a revelation of, of tasting Vietnamese food in Vietnam. I mean, because you've had Vietnamese food, I've had Vietnamese food. It's different when you're here. And again, different. this region also has different type spices, the way they do things. Yes. And yeah. it's spicy food here. Oh my God, but it's so delicious. A lot of lemongrass, uh, garlic, just really flavorful and really fresh, wouldn't you say? I mean, a lot of vegetables. And then the other thing is we had so much fresh seafood. And I mean, it's like fresh. Well, do you see the segment? This is a crucial putt on the 18th hole at the famed Pinehurst number two. Yikes. And I nailed it in Payne Stewart fashion. Yes, and we should also mention that you finished 10 strokes over your handicap. Pinehurst number two, absolutely bucket list. And I don't care what your handicap is. Okay, so it is time for us to look into the future and blow your mind again. He called Red Barn. Now, it's not a barn that looks like this. It looks like this. It's a six-story building the size of a sports arena that can feed millions with a huge variety of nutritious foods. In other words, we grow crops, uh, we can uh, grow fish, we can also grow livestock, um, chickens, hogs, um, different animals. I know, it's mind-blowing even to us and we've looked at it. Why are we talking about Hemingway in Hong Kong? Well. There is a connection. Papa didn't, he didn't do a lot of reporting here. One of the reasons was is because he was acting as a spy. And there you have it, from Nashville to Hong Kong and a Hemingway antidote in and between. We also shoot the show entirely on the iPhone. So that means you can create your own TV show or you may want to have great vacation videos. Well, we've made it easier for you with our book. It's called The TV Studio In Your Hand. I tell you, you've got to go to Vegas though, especially when you're getting ready for March Madness. Uh, this place is explosive. I mean, there's just people that are trying to hang, you know, hang out and can't get in. The lines are really long to bet. 
So when you open up, you come in, you open up a mobile app on your phone. Don't forget to make dinner reservations ahead of time too. Now we've got a ton more information on March Madness on our blog. And we are at, We're at the name of restaurant. restaurant? The restaurant is called Morita Mama. Yeah. Fujiyama Mama. And thank you Fujiyama Mama for giving us such great hospitality. We appreciate you and your great food and cocktails. And the great view as well. And thank you for allowing me to mangle your name as I always do. So we look Cheers. forward to taking you with us around the world. Cheers.